Hi, this is Alistair Lee. Welcome to this video overview of Adobe Presenter. Adobe Presenter is a plugin to Microsoft PowerPoint that allows a non-technical user to very quickly turn a set of PowerPoint slides into e-learning content. It does this by enabling that user to very simply record some narration over those slides, capture or import some video files, and add a quiz to test the understanding of the users going through the content and then publish that content either out to an Adobe PDF file, directly to a Connect Pro server, or locally to your desktop. After you've installed Adobe Presenter, you'll see a new drop-down on Office 2003 and previous versions of uh, PowerPoint, or this new toolbar in PowerPoint 2007. Let's take a look at how you start by narrating some audio over your existing set of PowerPoint slides. I'm going to click on the Record button, That'll first launch a dialog box to test your microphone so you'll get a good recording level. Once that's complete, it'll launch the presentation on the slide that you were on and allow you to start recording some audio. If you'd like, you can import any of the notes that you've written inside of the PowerPoint notes section. I'm going to go ahead and import the notes for all of my slides. And now it's as simple as pressing the red record audio button and starting to record your audio. As you're finished, you can move from slide to slide. And if you've got animations or builds on the slide, you can synchronize the audio with those animations. For example, as I move from topic to topic, my audio is synchronized with the builds that I've added to this slide. Once you've recorded your narration, you can also edit that audio using a built-in audio editor inside of Adobe Presenter. This audio editor allows you to zoom in and make some basic edits like removing ums or ahs or any other mistakes you may have made while recording the audio. You can also do things like insert silence into the recording. If you've already recorded some WAV or MP3 audio files in a different program, you can also import those directly into Adobe Presenter and apply them to each one of the different slides. In addition to being able to record audio onto the slides, the new version of Adobe Presenter also allows you to capture video from your webcam. I'm going to press the Capture button here. And I realize this video isn't showing up in the screen recording that we're creating, but you'll see the final results that we create. Here I've got the option to place the video either directly on the slide itself or in the sidebar that plays as we produce these Adobe Presenter presentations. I'm going to select the slide itself, and I can edit some of these settings if I'd like, potentially changing the size, making it a little smaller, as well as changing the quality or audio device that I'm using. But you can see the layout is really geared towards a non-technical user. The only active button on this dialog is a big red record button that allows me to start recording. I'll press that button now. And now I'm actually recording some video that I can place on the slide. Once I'm finished recording that video, I'll press the stop button. And as I press OK, Adobe Presenter will take that captured video and place it on the slide itself. I'll move that up to the top right hand corner and we'll see as I play this slide, the video will actually play for me. If I'd like, I can resize that video so it fits a little better on the slide. I can also use Adobe Presenter to select that video and make some basic edits to that video. For example, I can edit the in point and the out point for the video that I just recorded in case I want to chop off some, some sections uh, at the start and at the end. I can also add some very basic effects, things like being able to fade in or fade out or both, as well as set a time delay. If I've already recorded audio on this slide, I may want my video to play after the audio has already played through. Or if I've got animations, I may want to set a time delay with those animations. If I've got video I want to include in my presentation but don't want to capture it from my webcam, I can also use this import feature to import video in a number of different file formats, Windows Media Files, QuickTime Files, or Flash Video. Again, I've got the option to place that video directly on the slide or in the sidebar that plays during an Adobe Presenter presentation. Once we've recorded our audio and our video onto the slides, we've created a self-running presentation. We're not finished yet though, we want to be able to test the understanding of the users taking this content, so we'll create a quiz. 
To do that, I'm going to press the Quiz Manager button at the top here. And this opens up a dialog that allows me to start asking some questions, either at the end of the presentation or throughout as the user's taking it. When I press the questions box here, you can see that we can ask two different types of questions, graded questions that have a right or a wrong answer, as well as survey questions. And you can see there are a lot of different question types, multiple choice, true or false, fill in the blank, short answer, matching, and rating scale. New to this version of Adobe Presenter is the ability to randomize the order in which those questions are asked. I can shuffle the questions themselves, so everybody gets asked those questions in a different order, as well as the answers that are associated with each of those questions. I can also create groups of questions. So for each topic I may be addressing inside of a presentation, I can create a different group. I can add, say, 10 questions to each one of those groups and have Presenter randomly select two or three of those 10 questions to ask the individual users taking the course. This ensures that not only are the questions appearing in a random order, but the questions themselves will be randomly selected from a larger pool each time somebody takes the course. Now that we've added our audio, our video, and our quiz, it's time to publish this content as a piece of e-learning. I'm going to press the Publish button here. And Adobe Presenter gives us three options for publishing. I can publish this locally to my computer and upload it manually to a website or put it on a CD-ROM. Presenter will even package this with an auto-run file if you're adding it to a CD. I can publish it directly to an Adobe Connect server so that it's very easy to deploy and manage the content as well as track how students are doing on the quizzes or I can publish it to an Adobe PDF file that allow me to take this completely offline and deploy it very easily via email. Let's publish this offline but before I do we'll take a quick look at the settings. This settings panel allows me to completely customize the theme that will surround my Adobe Presenter content. I can choose from a number of default themes here. I'll pick the Mojave theme or the club orange theme for some fairly bright colors there. If I want though, I can customize the theme completely to match my particular brand. So you can see here all of these appearance settings as well as what shows up on the sidebar, whether you want your photo, your name, your title, biography, logo, and contact, can all be completely customized in this theme editor here. Once we're done, and I think I'll go back to my current theme instead of this orange theme here, we'll just select OK. And I'll go ahead and publish this piece of content as an Adobe PDF. Once Presenter's finished publishing the content, it'll show up here in your My Adobe Presentations directory. And you'll see here we've got this forklift presentation that we just published. If I open it up, I get a very similar experience in the PDF as I would get if we were watching this on a Connect Pro server. You'll see here that we've got a sidebar that gets added as a skin around our Adobe Presenter content. And this sidebar allows me to quickly jump to a specific slide in the content, see all of the different thumbnails, see the different notes that may be part of the content, and this gets picked up from the notes inside of PowerPoint. I can also search, so if there are specific terms, they'll be picked up in the search, whether they're on the slide itself or in the notes for that slide. You can see as we go through this, and get to the quiz settings here that the quiz is automatically rendered for us. It's in Flash so we've got this drag and drop functionality. As I get the questions right or wrong I get a little indicator here. In this case I got the question wrong so I've got a, a red X. But as I continue and get something right I'll get a green check mark. So that's the Adobe Presenter functionality. Hopefully you've enjoyed this short video overview.